Hey, bro. Remember the time that I told you I never broke your toy? Well, I did. You remember that time I also gave you applesauce? What I didn't tell you is that it was actually sludge from the garbage disposal. I ate every bit of that, and I even licked the ball. I know, and uh, yeah. And you remember that time <laughs> when I told you, uh, hey brother, I love you? Yeah, you said you don't love me? Well, I actually what I'm saying is you're adopted. So glad I got that off my chest. Thanks for listening, bro. Or whatever you are. It doesn't get more profound than that, bro. Hey, what's up, O2L? It's Connor. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Ricky on O2L. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Sam. What's up, O2L? Casey's here. Hello, O2L. It is Trevor. Hey, guys, what's up? It's Ken. I'm Elijah. You've been awesome. O2L was Confessions Week. We've got Connor kicking us off with a list of 25 of his deepest confessions. And then, of course, we've got Ricky giving us confessions that his family probably wish they had never known. And then, of course, we've got confessions from Sam, which were so awkward, they made even me feel weird. And then, of course, we've got JC giving us confessions that was sort of a real confession that was not a confession. He had, like, one real, real confession. Anyway, so then Trevor confesses that he's a chipmunk. Having your wisdom teeth extracted probably sucks, so feel better soon, Trevor. And then, of course, we've got Mr. Kean giving us his confessions about things that we probably honestly did not ever know, which is really cool because each week I seem to like his videos more and more. So let's get to this week, shall we? People were leaving comments on Connor's video saying stuff like, <gasps> That was not a real confession. That was actually just a bunch of random facts. Oh, and by the way, you're extremely cute and I want to marry you. Oh, by the way, you're extremely cute and I would like to marry you. You know, a confession is kind of like a fact, considering that what you're confessing is usually a fact. So really, it could have swung both ways. <laughs> both ways. There was one thing he confessed, though, that I kind of doubt is real, but it made me curious enough to try it. I... I am a burrito. I am a burrito. I am a burrito. Ricky confesses things that probably were just verbally crying. And I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> of course, there is also the confession about his sister, where she probably wasn't crying as much as she was vomiting. One time when I was really little, my sister made me so mad that I got her toothbrush and brushed my dog's teeth with it, and then put it back and never told her until right this second. Surprise! <laughs> pretty awesome when YouTubers kind of reveal the more personal side of their life, especially when they're popular, because it's like, you kind of build up an image of who you think they might be, because I've known Ricky ever since he only had like a thousand subscribers. It's funny to see the progress he's made, but also to see how he's a bit different than how you would have thought. Personally, I think it's really cool getting to know him better. Now, as for Sam's video, a lot of people were raising a lot of flack about this. I mean, a lot of people seem to be pretty offended. His video was titled, My Gay Confession. I really wish that people were not offended by this video because he wasn't trying to talk down on anybody. He was just simply sharing his moments that would have been what I would call like a, a no homo moment. Honestly, it was still pretty awkward to even just watch. It was making me feel a little weird. It was kind of like, should I be watching this? Should I be watching this? I mean, is, is this like illegal? And I want you guys to remember that I don't mean anything offensively towards him. Like, I'm not trying to pick on him or single him out specifically. But I am an advocate of being able to laugh at yourself. If someone were to point out the stupid things that I did, I usually laugh about it. If I fall, I'm usually one of the first people to start laughing. But just remember, if you can't laugh at yourself, you can at least laugh at others. I'm just kidding. Because that would be mean. Unless it's like your friend, then it's perfectly fine. JC didn't confess really but one real fact. The rest were hopefully humorous. You know, I once gave my teacher a script tease for an A, but who hasn't, right? Right? Wait, you got it? Is it just me? Just me? I'm still waiting for the day when Crest decides to sponsor JC. That would be a glorious day. Trevor just got his wisdom teeth removed, which I must confess sounds pretty awful. Aww. Okay, seriously, it is not, it's not awful, it's awful. Oh. That, that's, that's better. So Trevor, if you're watching this, we hope you feel better soon. If you guys would like, please go send him some love and let him know that we're wishing him well. And also, uh, be sure to check out his new album that's coming out soon as he was letting us know in the video. Kian. I don't know why, but I seem to enjoy his videos every week more and more. He's like a fungus, he's grown on me. <laughs> 
he confesses some really funny things and even some things that may actually put you in awe. Oh! No, darn it! In other words, he confesses some really funny things and some really sweet things. Before me and Andrea started dating, I had a little competition, but it was before we dated, so it's all good. I ended up getting the prize after all. I must say, he made a great video this week. Definitely go check it out. Okay, guys, only got shimas. Thank you guys so much for watching. It has been a privilege and an honor to entertain you. Oh, majesty. Be looking for at least two videos this week. One is going to be my confessions video, and another will be a music video, which I know you guys really seem to enjoy. It's also going to be a vocal cover, so please be wishing me luck on that. If you're new to these reviews, I want you guys to know that I love O2L and I love what they do. Any jokes that are made here are not meant to be offensive, but are merely playful and all in good sport. I've been Elijah, you've been awesome. I will see you guys next week, same time, same day, hopefully. Monday about 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you guys next week. Ah!